So you're likely here because the application you downloaded from outside of the Apple App Store is doing this. Or the application you're trying to download from outside of the App Store is doing this. It's time for a little VGJ school. Let's get the disclaimer out of the way first. If you download any iOS application from outside of the Apple App Store, you do so at your own risk. It's not checked for security by Apple and it could compromise your device. With that being said, let's find out first what a certificate is. Apple distributes certificates to developers to allow them to test their apps, integrate services and ultimately submit them to the Apple App Store. Once the application is on the App Store, this certificate falls into the background and we never see it. But prior to the App Store, the certificate gives Apple at least some control over an application because they can, at any time at their discretion, revoke the certificate. Apple can monitor the number of application installs assigned to a certificate. So when one starts racking up hundreds of thousands of downloads, you can be pretty sure that's not being used for testing purposes. When Apple decides to revoke a certificate, that does two things. It will prevent you from opening any app with that certificate on your device, although it might still work for a short while if you already have it open, and it will prevent you from downloading the app from scratch. If you go to settings and then profile and device management and try and verify the certificate, that will fail too. Essentially, any apps with that certificate are dead. If you had any saved data on the app, you might be able to rescue it through iTunes. Airshow videos, for example, can be downloaded from there, but in most cases, you're stuck. The simple truth is these Apple certificates are not being used for their intended purpose. They're being used to distribute applications to the general public. Whether these applications are pirated, hacked, or applications that Apple have already deemed not suitable for the Apple App Store, these certificates are acquired by downloading services, and that's why they bear no relation to the actual applications that are being used. If you're comfortable with that distinction, let's carry on. Here's a practical example. App Valley is a service where you can download applications not available from the App Store. Screen recorders are notorious for not being available from the App Store, so App Valley has signed a certificate against Airshow, a free iOS screen recorder. But unfortunately, as you can see, neither of these apps work anymore because of an untrusted enterprise developer error. When you first download this application, you will trust the certificate. But when the error returns, it means that the certificate has been revoked by Apple. Once that happens, there's no way to recover the application. All you can do is delete it to free up storage space. So what can you do when this happens? Well, I'm afraid the simple answer is you can't do anything. It's up to whoever is providing the app to re-sign it with a new certificate. In App Valley's case, it's best to follow their Twitter feed. In this recent example, they tweeted that they were aware that the certificate they used for their apps had been revoked. Within four hours, however, they had re-signed all of their applications with a new certificate, which in the world of signed certificate apps is super fast. This sort of thing usually takes days. With the green light from App Valley, we can now re-download their service app. As you can see, you will get the same untrusted enterprise developer error, but this is because you haven't trusted the new certificate. To do that, go to settings, then profile and device management, find the name of the new certificate, you should see the app listed under that certificate, and then press the blue words followed by the red trust button. Once you've done that, the application should work like any other application on your iOS device until the certificate is revoked although this one doesn't have a landscape mode. Once I have App Valley, I can then download Airshow from their service, which is a free screen recorder I want to use. It uses the same certificate as App Valley, so no need to trust it again, but it will also stop working at the same time too. So in short summary, if the application you have downloaded from outside of the App Store stops working, or you can no longer download an app from outside of the App Store, you need to wait for that certificate to be re-signed. There are alternatives which include paying for a signing service so the certificate never gets revoked or signing the certificate yourself through a computer. I have done tutorials on both of these things which you can watch here, so check them out if you want to. But this does leave two remaining questions. Is this safe and should you be doing it? Another reason that certificates exist is to ensure the application code hasn't been changed. However, with a new certificate comes the potential to change the way the app works. 
In this example, this free Airshow screen recorder app now has adverts that App Valley has added. A little annoying but harmless in this case. But what if someone wanted to add malicious code that compromises your device? This is why I caution you to research before you trust a certificate and why you download these applications at your own risk. And finally, I am well aware that many of these sites such as App Valley, Tutu and Tweetbox offer paid apps for free. My stance is and always has been that I do not condone or support getting paid apps for free. It harms the developer and it would be like you stealing this very video and using it on your own YouTube channel and profiting from it. If you've spent any amount of time on the Video Gadgets Journal, you will know that my interest is in screen recorders, a strange area of apps that have never been allowed on the Apple App Store. I would love Apple to allow screen recorders onto the App Store, it would make all our lives so much easier, and perhaps one day they will. But until then, I have to skate this tricky line where screen recorders currently find their homes. And on that slightly sombre note, that's pretty much everything I know about Apple certificates. I hope you found the video useful. If you do have any further questions, pop them in the comments below and I'll try and help you further. Otherwise, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the Video Gadgets channel for more iOS screen recording content and tutorials just like this. Enjoy the rest of your tech day. Bye for now. Useless.